you look back in history, any big change, any systemic change has come from the power of people. And I believe that people out there really want to make a difference. I've had a 30 year career so far, and I would say in the first 20 years of that career, I think my impact has been very, very low. It was about building businesses, building my own career. I had sat on multiple boards and run quite significant teams of people, but actually I felt like I hadn't achieved anything or anything that really mattered. And that became increasingly important to me. And so what I did was I started looking at brands and businesses that I thought were doing amazing things. I was really lucky to be involved in a huge quantitative study. I was really struck actually in the similarities between markets. So regardless of whether you'd come from the developed world, people were really concerned around what was going on in climate. And people were also really concerned about the gap of equality and they felt that businesses and brands had a role to play in that space and what we've seen over the last 10 years that's sped up but what I realized at that point was that if businesses and brands don't change they won't exist it's not a kind of optional thing businesses and brands have to contribute beyond commercial means and consumers will demand that and they will vote with their feet. Since that point, I've developed a business of my own, a brand that is contributing from an environmental perspective. It's saving thousands of tons of carbon, chemicals and plastic. And in doing that and having that success, it's influenced our competitors to change for the good as well. So we're seeing big change with some of these multinational companies that we have managed to instigate through being a bit of a thorn in their side and saying these things have to happen. I feel that we need to spread that word and help clarify some of these issues for regular people, because I think people do want to make a difference. They do want to change. But actually there's a huge amount of confusion out there in terms of what it is that people can really do to make the biggest difference. And I would like to be involved in trying to clarify those issues. My next step now is to work out how I can be most influential using the skills that I have to help communicate to others. What I have learned The most important thing in current times to have a positive impact is bravery, actually, because I think we need brave leaders who are prepared to stand up, be counted, to say the things that sometimes people don't want to hear, to stand out when people aren't in agreement and make those changes. Because what we've seen over the last 40 years in this space is that people have been talking about it, but actually not talking forcefully enough to make things happen. And things just haven't happened near the speed that they need to. And therefore I think we need to be brave. Do what you believe in, stand up for that and speak your mind. I think taking responsibility is really important because I think as individuals, we all feel quite small and a little bit helpless in the issues that are going on. And I think it's important that we take our own responsibility for what we can do to make a difference. I always feel stretched and out of my comfort zone. And to some extent, I think that's a really good thing. I believe that if things are worthwhile, they're actually quite painful in the process and therefore you will be out of your comfort zone. I guess one of the big things that put me out of my comfort zone is when we launched Small, because we were two individuals creating a business, going up against these kind of goliaths of organisations like Unilever and Procter & Gamble. And there were many, many moments where I thought I must be completely insane to try and compete with these big companies, with all their resources, not just financial resources, but people power. And there was just us trying to do what we believed in. And I think the lesson in that is that we were able to do it. And the power of people supporting us has given us massive strength to be able to really shift things and make a difference. 
my advice would be to back yourself and believe in yourself. Because if you really believe in yourself, somehow that empowers you to do what's right. Don't let the beliefs of others get in the way if you really genuinely think it's what you want to do and if you believe it's the right thing to do. So CISSL has had a massive impact. I have to say it's been pretty profound in that I went onto the course thinking I knew a fair amount about this space. And I very quickly realized that a lot of what I knew was out of date and actually the complexity and the interrelationship between a lot of these issues, I really didn't have much of an idea about. So the program really enabled me to understand all of the issues. There were some amazing people with great knowledge in this space that helped me to understand each of the areas and not only that, but how they interacted. There were people who came to speak to us from different businesses and organizations and I learned a huge amount from them and what they were doing, how progressive they were being. And there was a great session on ethics and I think that really shone a light on what's important and what we all should be doing. I think it really forced us and certainly me to really think hard about what I wanted my contribution to be.